How to create the electric lightning and scan effect inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's start the tutorial. We are currently in the edit page and we have a footage imported here, let's switch to the fusion tab where we will create this effect from scratch. Open the note menu and search for the Super Polygons plugin, this is a special fuse plugin I made which is completely free to download, this plugin will be the base for our effect. You have to connect it like this, these are all basic fusion things and very easy to learn. The settings of the super polygons will be shown in the right side inspector window. There are geometry options in this plugin which will help you make the lines of the effect. I am switching the mode to Voronoi layers which will create these random polygon layers. After this, the next node we will need is the edge detect node, which will highlight the edges of these polygons. You can see the results it makes, let me adjust the edge width and brightness options. This looks fine, now we have to fix the color of these lines which we can change with the help of a color corrector node. Let's add the color corrector node after the edge detect node. I am going to change the color to bright green, you can use any color you want. So these are the basic nodes we need for the overall effect. Now click on the merge node and adjust the blend amount to make this an overlay. Now you can see the effect over the main footage. You can change options like the apply mode in the merge node to get more variations. You can also change the scale of the polygons and see the results. If you want more animations the click the time variant option here. You can see the difference in the movement. Note that this option is available in the new version of Super Polygons. Now let's add a grid border around the footage which will make the effect more interesting. After the color node, search for the grid node in the node menu, this is a simple node which makes a grid overlay. Change the major line spacing to zero, also increase the row cell and column cells. You can also change the color of the grid lines within the grid node. After this we can add an eclipse mask in this grid, you can get the mask node by clicking here. Select the invert option in the mask options and also increase the soft edge slider. Now you can change the mask size and adjust the grid borders. This is the final effect after adding the grid. Note that you can change the geometry type in the polygon node which can give more variations for this effect. Let me show you all the geometry types. The honeycomb mode and the mosaic layer mode are new modes added in version 2. The mosaic layer mode gives awesome scan effect. You can also add text over it. You can use this energy effect specially for text which looks really cool. So that's all in this video, I hope you learned something new from this tutorial, don't forget to give a like, subscribe the channel for more awesome content. Thanks for all the support.